hello vlog welcome back to another episode if you follow me on instagram you probably already know this but i am pregnant again which is super exciting we were trying and i'll speak on like how my pregnancy is going how far along i am in a little bit but right now i have a not so fun doctor's appointment i have a cervix check i have to give like six tubes of blood i do have an ultrasound um so we're gonna head there right now I first did an orientation and waiting for my ultrasound but I can tell they were a little annoyed with me because I opted to not do a cervix check here in a bit just because I'm like it's so painful guys and this feels it's just so invasive and I don't think it's necessary to have a cervix check um, so I'm just not gonna do it and I'm usually really timid about that but I'm gonna stand pretty strong on that this time because I felt like how many times they checked me on my last pregnancy it was just like whoa that's a lot of times so yeah i'm gonna stand firm on that and now i'm gonna do my ultrasound which i can't show you i can't take my camera on there but i am excited to see um, how everything's looking how everything's developing <laughs> Good news, my doctor was so chill about me not getting the cervix check. I was really nervous because I know she wanted to do it and um, she came in and she was like, uh, just to make sure you don't want the cervix check, right? I was like, no, thank you. And she was like, yeah, no problem. And she didn't ask me why, she didn't get into any of that. So like, I really, really appreciate her respecting that. It was like the tech that was kind of like, like giving me looks, anyway so grateful for that i didn't get to get my blood test done which is kind of a bummer but also i'm like yes i didn't have to get my blood taken because <laughs> i hate giving blood i hate it i'll probably have to come back later today potentially tomorrow but that is the test that i would get to see what the gender is so not gonna happen today in the meantime i need to go run a few errands for my current baby elijah he's out of formula he's out of diapers he's out of stuff like that Josiah watched him. This has been three hours and I didn't even get to finish the whole thing because um, I didn't get blood. But it's so many appointments, you guys. That is like the reality of being pregnant. You do have appointments in between that you're just in and out and there's nothing major that happens. But then you have other appointments like today where it's like, oh my gosh, that was so much because I also did need, um, they needed to do like, um, what's it called? They just kind of like fill your breasts for lumps, make sure that everything's looking good there. All, your vitals all that stuff so it's a lot it's definitely a lot but anyway now gotta go take care of some other things okay i'm back home two bags worth of stuff at target and diapers and it was like 200 and something dollars because we needed soap diapers formula like all the stuff i talked about earlier now i'm making an egg from my enchiladas that i made i made like a huge pan yesterday for like 15 people it was very very impressive right Okay, details about my pregnancy. It's funny because my first pregnancy, I had like a serious sit down video with like the lights and the makeup and all the stuff. And now I'm like eating lunch between nap time. I'm gonna do this real quickly so I can clean up because <laughs> we had a family in town. Anyway, so I am in my last week of my first trimester. So I am 13 weeks. My second trimester will start next week when I'm 14 weeks. Um, we were trying to get pregnant and praise God we did get pregnant on the first try. Um, and you know what's so funny is I'm horrible at testing early. Like I tested at like five days after, after conception, which like that is way too early. So I saw it, it said negative obviously. And I was like, okay, I'm not pregnant. Didn't take another test. And then like two weeks, Three weeks later, I had been so tired. I'm not a napper when Elijah naps. I'm like, it's game time. It's time to clean the house. It's time to clean the floors. It's time to do laundry. Like whatever I need to do, edit content for my clients. Like that's the time that I use. And now I was like, no way. Like I have to sleep so bad. I'm so tired. And so after like three days of taking a nap each day, I was like, oh, that's weird. I should just take a pregnancy test. And I took one and it was positive like immediately. And yeah, since then I took like three pregnancy tests. They were all positive, obviously. 
went to my appointment, we got an ultrasound, and everything's looking great this far, so super excited. Um, differences that I'm seeing from this pregnancy versus the last are like symptoms for sure. I'm way more tired this time than I was last time, and it's not even just because I have a toddler that I'm like chasing around, even though that does contribute. It's just like, it felt like I had like the fatigue that you feel when you have a cold or the flu or even when I had COVID, like that's how I felt, that tired. Um, I was a lot more nauseous with Elijah, not very nauseous with this pregnancy, but otherwise, like that's my only symptom is fatigue. Seriously, like that's it. It's kind of crazy. I'm grateful for it, but I'm always like, am I pregnant? Am I pregnant? I saw the ultrasound today and I'm like, oh, thank God I am pregnant. <laughs> Cause I don't know, I'm not even really showing right now at all. Um, yeah, there's been hardly any symptoms, so I am thankful for that. Um, and then like just my first pregnancy, I think I was so scared, even though I did, it, it was intentional to get pregnant that time also, I was so scared and, um, I like emotionally felt the impact of that a lot, like a lot. And this time I don't feel that emotional impact. Um, I actually feel really ready for another baby and I feel like, okay, time to start adding to our family again. That's how I feel this round. Um, I feel a lot more equipped. I feel like we already have so much of what we need and I just feel more at peace this time. I don't know. I don't feel so stressed out or anxious about anything. And like I said today, going into appointments, I feel more confident in like knowing what I do and don't need. Things aren't such a surprise when going into appointments. I fully know what to expect, so that's really nice, but I don't know. I hope for this pregnancy to go a lot slower. My first one, I'm like, what's the gender? Oh my gosh, can it be time already? Like, I wanted to speed things up, and this time I want to slow things down and enjoy them, enjoy my baby, my first form, while I still have him as like my only child. And yeah, I just feel like this a season of life is gonna go by super fast, this pregnancy, because like, you know, the holiday seasons, like they fly by, um, I feel like once Halloween hits, like before you know it, it's New Year's Eve. And so I know that's really, really going to speed up this pregnancy. My due date is March 28th, but yeah, enough of that. Those are kind of all the details. Like I said, I don't have too much time to spare, but that is my first trimester so far. If you have any questions about like pregnancy or if you have any suggestions for what it's like having two under two my babies will be just about 19 months apart um yeah i think just shy of 19 months 18 months in some weeks i don't know um just give me those tips i'm totally open to suggestions because it's like new territory for me uh, but i am very very excited so thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to like comment and we will see you on the next episode.